Hi, my beautiful Virgos. Hi, my beautiful Virgos. Nice to see you guys again. It feels like so long since I did a video. Um, I know I haven't posted a video in a couple of days, but to me, a couple of days is a long time. Um, I wish I could get content out more often, um, but I do also have another job. I have other responsibilities as well. So I do my best, but I always think about doing videos and the more you guys comment, the more you like, the more you guys like, the more you guys subscribe, I will definitely put out more videos for sure. It'll give me more ammunition to want to make videos. I know these videos are a little bit long, but I hope they give you a message. So that's why I don't like to do very, very short videos because I like to interact with the people. Even though I know you guys don't see me or I can't see you guys, I still like to feel like I'm interacting with you guys. So I hope you guys appreciate it. Okay, so we're going to do something for a current love situation for Virgos and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and what might be coming your way in love. Some of you are more curious about new love. So let's do the new love first, actually. New love, let's see what's coming your way in love for new love singles for Virgo and then current love situations for people in a situation, situationship, marriage, commitment, whatever. Okay, so first I did the Rebecca Campbell Work Your Light deck. Okay, I haven't used it in a while, so I said let me use it. It says boundaries. I pre-shuffled off camera just to save a little time. It says boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Okay, so as you see, there's a lot of hands out, right? There's a lot of hands out. And this person's putting their, like, a hold, like, stop, 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 okay? Some of you are just taking on too many burdens or trying to always help somebody, whether it be friends, family, or somebody. You always feel the need to always have to help them, help them, help them, help them, help them. And sometimes you feel like, damn, like, when is, when is it going to be my time to, like, do my self-work, to do things that I want to do. Why are you guys always constantly bothering me? Some of you are just like, leave me alone a little bit. I need some time and it's hard for you. I feel like for some of you Virgos, it's hard for you to say no. You have to set your boundaries. Spirit's saying, please set boundaries for yourself or else you're going to be emotionally exhausted and it's going to cause a terror moment and a breakdown that we don't want to have, okay guys? So if you feel like this is your situation, everybody has their hand out, whether it's for money, advice, or whatever the case may be, Spirit's calling you to gently say no. Sometimes a gentle no is the best way. And even if they're a real friend, they'll understand that you're going through your own situation too. If you just explain like sis or my friend whatever your friend is just say hey i'm just going through something right now i just need to focus on my work or something at this time there's nothing personal just please you know i hope you understand and if they stick around they're your true friends if they decide to say deuces do some too. Don't be upset about it. You just got to do what you got to do. When you get older, you have to realize that some, some certain people, you just got to cut off. If they're no longer serving you, you just got to cut them off. And also for Virgos, um, I got a download yesterday, whenever, before. I wanted to do a video yesterday, but for some reason, I just didn't have enough energy. But I was thinking about um, so a download that came to me that somebody's going through like a family court case situation with a very toxic ex somebody who's very mentally unstable, maybe on drugs, and they're very concerned about the well-being of their child that they have in common with this person. Um, just know that everything's going to work out fine because, you know, karma is going to show itself. And even if this person, if you feel like this person has a lot of upper hand in whatever situation that may be, or in a lot of connections, their connections will only go so far. And the truth will come out eventually and things will work in your, your favor. You just need to have faith. Just need to have faith. If you don't have faith, then things will just get, it'll get worse. Okay, it'll get worse. But if you choose to know that everything will be fine and you're doing everything correctly, not trying to get any revenge or do anything bad to hurt this person, just try to stay away from them. Do the best you can to stay away from them. Don't continue to engage with them on that level. Just do what you have to do, rightfully so. Do all the steps that you need to do in the right manner. And don't handle things out of emotions so that's a message for some of you guys so virgos virgos current love situation what is it that virgos need to know in regards to love at this time virgos what is it that they need to know in regards to their current love situation at this time virgos what is it that they need to know in regards to love my beautiful virgos what is it that they need to know in regards to love virgos what is it that they need to know my virgo collective in regards to love sun moon and rising and venus what is it that they need to know in regards to love at this time, spirit? One more message for Virgos. Virgos, what is it that they need to know in regards to love at this time? Virgos, Virgos, what is it that they need to know? Okay. Beautiful. 
All right, guys, let's see. So the first card that flew out was Two-Faced. It says, Double Life, Cheater, Backstabber. Maybe this is somebody from your past. You could have been dealing with somebody who was a cheater or a backstabber or living a double life, okay? Or maybe you're currently dealing with somebody who's two-faced. You suspect it. Follow your intuition. Spirit's calling you to follow your intuition. You know this person's two-faced. You've seen messages. You've seen um, clothes. For some of you guys, you've seen clothes. you smelled the perfume. You've seen something in somebody's car that's not yours. You've seen the signs. Stop avoiding it. Okay, that's for some of you guys. Getting a lot of downloads <laughs> couple for the last couple of days. So vacay, get away, relax, have fun. Spirit's calling you. Some of you are under a lot of stress right now with this relationship or just, you know, external factors in general. And it's time for you to take your vacation. Relax, get away a little bit. Spirit's telling you, have fun. You, Some of you are just overworking too. Overworking and no play. Time to play now. Have some time for yourself. Suffering in silence, unspoken desires, real feelings, broken dreams. Okay, so some of you may be hiding your feelings, like with this boundaries card. Maybe like you're feeling stuck. This person's like stuck in the middle. And there's all these hands coming out after her or him, after this person. It could be he or, he or she. Okay, so some of you are just suffering in silence. You just want to block this door. You want to close this door. You just want to just like shut out the outside noise. Like stop, leave me alone, okay? I'm suffering and nobody's even seeing it. Nobody's seeing me. I'm suffering. Okay, wishful thinking, second chance, deja vu, nostalgia. So there might be somebody from your past who is very nostalgic about you. They're having wishful thinking that things could probably still work out with this wishful thinking. And some of you are saying, yeah, keep thinking, keep wishing, <laughs> keep wishing. It ain't happening, okay? It ain't happening for some of you, okay? So that's wishful thinking with a second chance card. Somebody wants a second chance in this situation. Somebody that you may know who you share some memories with. Um, consequences, bad choices, games, mixed signals. Okay, so this goes hand in hand with this two-faced card consequences bad choices somebody's experiencing maybe some karma from their bad decisions their games they're sending mixed signals to people um i feel like there's heavy third party energy with this two-faced person um so there's gonna be some karma here and you see in this image this is something that i forgot to detail last time in one of my videos this person's face is um has bandages on it and it says something on the bandages but i can't see and it has like lighter yeah it has a lighter on the bandages it's like she's about to light herself on fire so i don't know if somebody's just feeling very emotionally overwhelmed they're doing like i don't know if they're self-hurting themselves you know self-hurting or if somebody's abusing them or there some there's emotional abuse here mental abuse physical abuse okay so somebody made a bad choice they feel like they made a bad choice in this situation there's a two-faced person here. So let's see what this consequences card is about. If any of you are experiencing domestic violence at this time, know that there are services out there to help you if you're willing to find them, willing to work and actually disconnect because to actually, you know, get the help that you need, you have to disconnect from the person. And some of you have a difficult time with that. People in general, not just you guys, not you Virgos in particular, just people in general have a time disconnecting from people because they feel like love is, is you know they have this toxic view of love and they might think love is hurt love is not hurt love is supposed to bring you pain not ugh, pain <laughs> love is not supposed to bring you pain okay it's supposed to bring you pleasurable pain if you like that stuff but it's not supposed to bring you physical pain okay so virgos virgos my virgo collective my virgos virgos spirit please speak to me about virgos Speak to me about the singles, my Virgo singles in particular, who are looking for new love. What is coming their way in new love for my Virgo singles? What is coming their way in love for my Virgo singles? What is coming their way in love for my Virgo singles? My Virgo collective. What is coming their way in love for my Virgo singles? If you guys have any um, sun, moon, rising placements in um, Pisces, check out that video. Or if you're dealing with a Pisces, also check out that video. Okay, support the channel, please. I appreciate it. Please like this video now if you can. I would appreciate that too. Okay, so new love for Virgos. What's coming their way for my Virgo singles? What's coming their way in love for Virgo singles? What's coming their way in new love for Virgo singles? 
What is coming their way in new romantic love for my Virgo singles? Those who are looking for love at this time, Virgos. What is coming their way in love? New romantic love for Virgos. Okay. Let's see what's coming. So a lot of you are moving forward, okay? With this Eight of Wands energy. A lot of you are moving forward. You're no longer looking at your past. You're on a route. You're on the right path. Like, like this card said. Well, there was another card that said something about like going down the right path. So you are going down the right path at this time. Spirit's telling, letting you know you're going down the right direction. And some of you are no longer, like I said, engaged with something from your past. You put that to rest with this Four of Swords. You might be thinking about it, but somebody's thinking of, either somebody's thinking of communicating with you at this time, or some of you are disconnected from your past. You're no longer working on it. It's inactive, and you're moving forward. So take it where it applies, if it applies at all, okay? So let's see. What's coming their way in love for my Virgo singles? Okay, we have the High Priestess. So somebody's thinking or they're keeping quiet. They're trying to move forward slowly. They're trying to move on away from turbulent waters to calmer waters. They're going towards the lovers. This is a choice between two people. And then we have the queen of swords here, okay? So somebody wants to have a serious conversation. We have, yeah, somebody definitely wants to talk. Somebody's thoughts are all over the place. They're a little bit confused. There's some clarity that's coming in, moving forward, moving forward okay? There's some clarity coming in for you guys who are single okay so let's see why is the high priestess here for virgos why is this high priestess here for virgos for new love why is this high priestess here for virgos is it, some of you are just in a period of solitude right now you're keeping to yourself some people are seeing you as very mysterious at this time they're wondering what you're thinking what you're up to why is the high priestess here for virgos for new love new love why this high priestess energy for virgos Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups. Okay, so somebody's keeping quiet about this family or, you know, they're keeping some family either. Oh, all right, I got to download here. Okay, take it if it applies. If it doesn't apply, throw it away. Somebody is thinking of a higher level of commitment with you. Okay, that's one situation. Also, there could be somebody who's trying to be sneaky and sneak outside of a family dynamic and try to entertain you as well in the near future or now, currently, okay? Um, so somebody's thinking of a higher level of commitment, whether you have them, you're, well, this is for new love. So somebody's thinking of a higher level of commitment with this Ten of Cups and the King of Swords. So somebody's a little bit stern or they're using their, um, their mind over their heart at this time they're using their logic over their heart at this time in regards to this ten of cups dynamic okay they're trusting their intuition and they're going to um use that logic in regards to this ten of cups because there was a period of indecision before so what is this um ten of cups with the king of swords for pisces for i'm oh, sorry for virgos what is this ten of cups with the what is this ten of cups with the king of swords for virgo Okay, yeah, somebody wants to talk. Somebody wants to extend some a small gift or idea. They want to communicate. This is my communication card, okay? Like somebody wants to send a text message. They want to talk to you. They want to get something off their mind is what I'm, I'm feeling. What is it that they want to say to Virgo? What is it that they want to say to Virgo? What is it that they want to say to Virgo? Ooh, that they want to work on things with this Eight of Pentacles. But you have your back towards this person, if you've seen the image, this page of pentacles is coming in like they want to talk to you. You know, they want to talk about some kind of stable offer. It's a small offer, though. OK, it could be a friendship and you're too busy focusing on something else right now. So your back is turned with the state of pentacles energy. You don't see this person coming in. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's somebody that you share nostalgic memories with with the six of cups. Um, there was some happiness or they see you as happiness. They're waiting because they feel like they need to hold back at this time because they're uncertain if they're, it seems like they're kind of insecure if they should go forward with this opportunity to solidify this connection. I don't know who this person is, but somebody's contemplating a higher level of commitment, but right now they feel a little bit scared to do so. 
somebody who you share some kind of nostalgic memories with from your past. It could be anyone. It could be a romantic partner. It could be somebody from your block, somebody that always liked you a secret admirer that you never knew about until now because your back is turned, okay? So it could be somebody that's coming in that you don't even think is having feelings for you, but they have feelings for you. But it's somebody that you know, okay? So um, what is it that this Page of Pentacles wants to say to Virgo for new love? What is it that they want to say to Virgo? Ooh, okay. Death. Yeah, this person wants a rebirth, okay? There could have been an ending between you and someone with this death card, or you could have been dealing with a Scorpio, okay? Or you have Scorpio in your chart heavy as well for you Virgos. Somebody wants to talk about ending. They want to offer this new beginning, but they're feeling conflicted about it because I guess because there was a betrayal in the past. But somebody for your past, it was a missed opportunity. And somebody's feeling scared. Like I said, they're in their head. But they want to talk. They want to break the silence. I'm telling you, there's somebody from your past, Virgos. And he, there's a particular Virgo out there that knows who I'm talking to. There's somebody from your past, whether you had a romantic situation with them. It could have been, a, it looks like it was a higher level of commitment or there was a um, a passionate energy between you two with the lovers, okay? They want to come back. They want to move toward calmer waters. This person could have lived at a distance with the Six of Swords. Tell me more about the Six of Swords for what's coming their way and new love for Virgos. Tell me more about the Six of Swords for what's coming their way and new love. Ooh, King of Cups. Yeah, this King of Cups, this person has a lot of love for you, Virgo. There's somebody from your past that has heavy love for you. They have a lot of love for you. They want to move toward calmer waters. They want to offer you this stability. Ooh, somebody wants to come correct. Because they're feeling trapped in their thoughts. You know, things have come to a standstill. They want equal give and take in the situation. They see your worth. They see you as this queen, this queen of pentacles. They want to work on things with you. Somebody, this King of Cups character, if you haven't met them yet, but this could be a newer love energy. Let's see who this King of Cups is. Who's this King of Cups energy for Virgos in new love? Who's this King? Oh, sorry. Mr. Softly's outside. <laughs> Who's this King of Cups for Virgos in their new love? Four Swords. Somebody who's not taking action. Somebody who's just thinking at this time. Healing, possibly. Because they feel abandoned. They feel insecure. They're waiting for some kind of opportunity to talk and offer love. Hmm. Yeah, there's somebody from your past. They're thinking about you heavily. What is this Four Swords for Virgo's new love situation? Why the Four Swords for Virgo's new love situation? Yeah, because they're they you surrendered the connection with them because there was too much connection. There was too much conflict in the past. Maybe external conflict and somebody went ghost. Okay, could have been a Virgo that went ghost. Fire energy here. Um. It could be any sign, to be honest with you. We have earth sign, we have air sign, we have water sign. Okay, who are the lovers? Now you have a choice between two, okay? It could be somebody from your past and there's a new love energy here for you, Virgos. So what, are, what is this choice for Virgos, for new love? What is this choice between the lovers? What is this choice for the lovers, with the lovers? Gemini energy for Virgos. What is this choice? Okay, page of cups. Oh, somebody wants to apologize. It could be somebody from your past that wants to make a small gesture, make you smile. They want to talk to you. They want to communicate with you. They might want to send you a, a flirty call or a flirty text with this page of cups energy. It could be a newer love interest as well. But for some of you guys, you blocked this person or you, there was a heavy burden with this person. I no, I feel honestly this person is having a lot of trepidations about coming forward towards you because of the past. They feel burdened by it. They feel like you're going to reject them. So they feel like if they extend this offer, it's going to be like you're going to reject them. But they feel like this toxic attachment to you. And some of you are trying to block this person. You're trying to block them. It's from somebody from your past. Somebody has this toxic obsession with you. For your past. They have a lot of love for you, but they have this codependent attachment to you. Somebody you abandoned or rejected. It could be anybody. Why the devil with the six of cups for Virgo? Why the devil with the six of cups? Yeah, somebody's holding this. They're keeping it to themselves. They're in a probably in a period of solitude right now. What is it that this person's keeping to themselves from Virgo? What are they keeping to themselves with this four of pentacles? Ah, their love. Ooh, we have the king and the queen of cups. Their feelings. They're holding back their feelings for you. 
because they're feeling inadequate at this time. They feel like they don't have access to you. They're feeling insecure. They want to change that. They want to offer you, they want to express their love to you. Okay. So this could be a person from your past. There's a choice and somebody from your past, I feel strongly that wants to resurrect themselves that you probably don't even know. But like, you, it seems like a lot of you moved on from that, from that past person, but there's somebody from your past that's heavy in this energy for new love. Why is the Queen of Swords here? You guys going to have this firm talk with them, with this Queen of Swords. You're going to be open to communication because you see her hands out like she's offering this communication. So you're open to talking to them. You have a clear mind about the situation. So tell me, why is the Queen of Swords here for Virgos for new love? What is this conversation with this Queen of Swords for Virgos for new love? Okay, yeah. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay, so somebody wants to talk about something in the past, okay? They want to make something clear with this Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Somebody's looking at the past. Why is this Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Virgo? Why is this Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Oh, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, somebody who used to be up in their head about things moving forward. They couldn't make a decision about growth and stability with you. But now, all of a sudden, they have a change of heart over the... I don't know how long this person... There's been some time that's passed because we had temperance. So there's been some time that passed. There's been some time that has passed. They see you as somebody who they could have growth and stability with. They see happiness with you. Um, they're waiting for this opportunity. Uh, some of them are trying to avoid this opportunity because they're scared. I feel like this person is very insecure. So we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Why is the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Swords in reverse for Virgo? Why is this Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Swords in reverse? Yeah, somebody's trying to get away with something. What are they trying to get away with? Let's see. Yeah, their inability to make a decision. Some of them are trying to avoid making a decision. They're always uncertain. They're always up and down. They don't know if this is going to work out. They're very insecure, this person. This person is trying to avoid making a decision. They're always up and down, always up and down. But they're trying to figure out how to invest. They're trying to figure out what went wrong in this connection because they highly desire you. They see they want a, they want this to work out. They want a new beginning. They want to heal this connection. This King of Wands character has a lot of feelings for you. They have a lot of lust, desire for you. And this could be a new love energy too with this King of Wands. But there's someone heavy from your past that wants to reconcile and work things out, smooth things out. But there's a choice. I feel like this choice hasn't come for some of you yet. That's why the energy is not so much there. But there's a choice between two. Somebody from your past and a newer love interest. Okay, so let's see. What is going on for current love? Current love situations for Virgo. Just know for you new love, for people who are looking for new love, there's going to be a choice from somebody for your past, and there's also, and you're not going to see it coming possibly, because this person's working up the courage to come to you, but they're going to come, they're going to say something, they're going to reach out, and there's also a choice between two people, or you could have been dealing with a Gemini, or there could have been very strong attraction with this person for your past, and they want to come back, but they have a lot of love, and it looked like you had a lot of love for them as well, okay? Okay. But things went cold in that connection. Okay, so new love, new love. I mean, current love situation, sorry. Current love for Virgos. Current love for Virgos. What's going on currently in current love situations for Virgo? Seven of Cups. Somebody's thinking or having options. Tell me more about what's going on for current love situation. Yeah, somebody is thinking heavily. They're keeping it to themselves with this moon energy. Um, they see you as a wish fulfillment. And there's an ending here with the death card. And then we have the eight of wands, okay? So after ending, somebody wants to continue to move things forward. A lot of you just want to move forward alone and go on in a different direction. And somebody um, might want a revival in this connection. And they're going to reach out to you and want to talk. So let's see, what is this? So we have the Seven of Cups. So somebody's thinking about something that they're hiding with this moon energy, insecurities, doubts, fears. Okay, so somebody's really lost in their thoughts or they day, they're daydreaming is what I'm getting. They are daydreaming about you. They see you as a wish fulfillment. There was an ending here 
but they somebody wants a resurrection for sure somebody wants a resurrect uh, like a rebirth in this connection they want to move things forward they want to outreach to you they want to communicate they bossed up they want a higher level of commitment with you as somebody that finds you mutually attractive they want to talk about their love for you um they want a higher level of commitment they want to be the boss they want to take leadership mm, interesting guys virgos getting complicated here so what is the Seven of Cups about for Virgos in their current love situation? What is the Seven of Cups? Yeah, somebody is overthinking and it's causing like a huge burden about this Ten of Cups dynamic. Whether you have it or not with them, this person sees you as their Ten of Cups. They want victory in this situation. They want to heal the connection. We have the star. Can't show it too long because, okay, they want to heal the connection. Um... They're carrying a huge burden. They're trying to stop their thinking. Um, but there was an ending. Some of you are single now with the Nine of Pentacles energy. And this is somebody from your past. Hmm. Who is this person from Virgo's past that wants a reconciliation? Who is this person from Virgo's past that wants a reconciliation with them? Who is this person from Virgo's past that wants a reconciliation? Who is this person from Virgo's past that wants a reconciliation? Who is this person from Virgo's past that wants a reconciliation spirit? They don't want to tell me. <laughs> this person's secretive. Okay, somebody who's held back. Somebody who's holding back. They're healing. They're Yeah, they're healing. But they want growth and stability with you. They're having anxiety. They want growth and stability from you, but they're holding back their offer. Why are they holding back so much, Spirit? Why are they holding back this person from the past for Virgo? Why are they holding back from Virgo? Okay. Because they're healing. But they 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 see you as their star. Okay. They see you as their wish. I have to block the nudity. They see you as their wish. They're holding back from their wish. I feel like this person is very stubborn. Um, they want to work together. They want this to work together as a team with you. And they're looking into the horizon. They're, they're paying attention. They're trying to see the long-term goal for the situation. They're stuck in a, at a crossroads with making a decision if they should make this move or not. If they should, you know, talk to you and stop holding back. This person's heavily stubborn because we saw the emperor and we see this, um, this could be this two-faced energy. Somebody who you felt from your past that was two-faced, lived a double life, was a cheater, backstabber. That's that person. Okay, why is the moon here for Virgo's current love situation, Spirit? Why is the moon here? Okay, somebody's thinking a lot. Yeah, they're daydreaming a lot. They're thinking a lot about making a decision. They're trying to gain some clarity. They're clear that they want to have this conversation with you, that they want to express their love. The Queen of Swords to the Queen of Cups. What is this Queen of Swords to the Queen of Cups for Virgo? They want to have this emotional conversation with you. They're thinking about it. They're not actually doing it yet for some of them. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So, yeah, somebody that's all growth and stability with you. Or you might still have that growth and stability with this person. They see you as their son. They see happiness or there's some clarity coming in about the situation. And some of you are guarded against this person. Okay. Because you're going in hermit mode about this situation or this person wants to fight for you i feel like this person wants to fight for you but some of you are not even seeing it like some of you are just like this is virgo's card okay some of you are in hermit mode you're not even knowing that this person wants a new beginning they're stuck in this mental conflict there, there's so much going on behind the scenes is what i'm getting so much going on behind the scenes that you don't even know what is this nine of cups for virgo's current love situation what is this nine of cups for virgo's current love situation Okay, somebody's having anxiety about you. They're oh, they're stressed out. They can't sleep. They're constantly thinking about you. They're daydreaming about you, trying to make a decision. They're stuck about making a decision, overthinking a decision. Uh, yeah, they want to have a breakthrough in this connection. They want to have a conversation. They want to talk. They want to talk. What is it that they want to say to Virgo? What is it that they want to say? What is it that they want to say to Virgo? What is it that they want to say, Spirit? What is it that they want to say? That they're holding back. What is it that they want to say? 
person doesn't want to talk. Yeah, they want this love between you two. This came back again for new love and current love. So there's a choice, okay? Choice between the two could be a Gemini. Somebody was quiet, they went ghost, but they, they're quietly trying to move this thing forward for this Wheel of Fortune. Some of you are disconnected from this person. You're just moving on with your life, but somebody wants to move this wheel in their favor towards you, that is, okay? This person sees you as a hierophant, whether you had a higher level of commitment with them or not. They saw you as marriage material. So when they, they can marry somebody that they could go to for help, for wisdom, for guidance. And they want to take control. They want to be the boss. They want to be the man or the woman that you always wanted in this situation is what I'm getting. This person bossed up. So if they were acting like immature before in the past, they, this person manned up or womaned up. Or they're going to present that image that they did. Be careful with that two-face. We're going to clarify this two-face in a second. Bear with me. Why is the death here for um, Virgo <laughs> for their current love situation? Why is the death here for Virgo for their current love situation? Two of Pentacles. Why the Two of Pentacles spirit? Yeah, some you're going to have an option. Somebody doesn't know who to invest in. There's Six of Pentacles. They don't know if they should invest in one situation or another situation. So there's an option here. There's a choice. Somebody has surrendered to the connection. Or gain a new perspective about it. Someone felt betrayed, backstabbed in this situation because there was a higher level of commitment they saw with you, or there is a higher level of commitment that they have with you. Somebody surrendering to the connection and they're trying to choose between two, possibly. Um, that's for some of you guys, not all of you. So don't come at me. There could be a third party here. Um, what is this Eight of Wands for current love situation for Virgo? Okay. Yeah, the page of cups moving forward there's a new love option this is the second love somebody wants to get out the cold though this could be somebody who wants to get out the cold or somebody who's still kind of feeling insecure about their past and this person is this page of cups here tell me more about this page of cups with the eight of wands for virgo in the future what is this page of cups for virgos in the future The world yeah somebody wants to repeat a cycle here we have forward movement we have the circle we have the, the world this could be somebody you know that you met on a dating app or somebody you um met online somebody that you met while you were on vacation they want to move forward they want to come towards you they want to move things forward they want things to come out of hangman mode they want to get this wheel turning in their favor they see you as a growth and stability and there was some problems in the past, but they want to move towards you because they find you highly attractive with this Queen of Wands energy. They want victory in this situation. They want accomplishment. They want to feel a pride. It could be a pride or ego thing, but they want this new beginning with you. There's a lot of strong passion here. Okay, so it looks like some of you, even though if you closed your door in a past situation, somebody kind of wants to come back here. And some of you have turned your back on this person. Um, but maybe some of you might be curious about somebody from the past. So they're coming in, but they're not coming in with this big offer yet because they're kind of scared. So let's see. They're watching you with this page of swords that flipped out. They're watching. They're paying close attention to you. So some of you need to be aware. All right, why, what is this two-face energy for Virgo's current love situation? What's this two-face energy the Seven of Wands. Tell me why the Seven of Wands is the two-faced energy. Why the two-faced energy for Virgos? Why is the two-faced here for Virgos? Okay, somebody's trying to avoid a conflict. They want a new beginning because they feel heartbroken. Okay, so this person who wants to avoid a conflict or they're trying to block a conflict because, you know, they want a new beginning. There might have been heavy third-party energy here. There's a lot of external influences. What was this conflict that this person's trying to block with this Virgo energy for Virgos? Why are they two-faced? Yeah, because there was a conflict. It looks like this person was very emotionally avoidant. Every time you try to address them on a serious matter, they always said, oh, this is conflict. I don't want this conflict. Like, leave it alone. Just relax, chill. 
what you know let it be just calm down it's not that serious maybe they could have been having flirtatious moments with other people around them like they could have been involved in third party act activities within the connection that pissed you off and obviously nobody wants to stand for it unless if you're into polygamy and this person was just like trying to be charming all the time always trying to apologize and like look try to show you something exciting like look with this fish coming out the cup look like trying to entertain you try to get back in your good graces that's that two-faced energy here. This person from your past that you tried to block conflict with, they're always blocking the conflict. They always want strong passion with you. They always want to make amends through like saying something romantic and also being physical with you. Consequences. What are the consequences for Virgo's relationship? What are the consequences for Virgo's? What are the consequences for it? What are the consequences for Virgos? Okay. The chariot. Yeah. Some of you decided to move on because this person was plain emotional manipulative tactics. They kept coming at you and some of you are not even like budging. Like you weren't even like trying to agitate them. They just constantly just felt like on guard by you for whatever reason. So some of you made a decision to move forward. Yeah. Somebody was constantly agging, like constantly like, ugh. And then you were just like, you had enough for some of you guys. You know, like when there's like a fly or a mosquito that keeps biting you and just like, stop biting me. It's like that kind of feeling, but on, in a more intense level. Suffering in silence. What is the suffering in silence for Virgos? Sorry for making this super long, guys. What is the suffering in silence for Virgos? What is the suffering in silence for Virgos? What is the suffering in silence about a conflict? That led to somebody feeling really emotional and disappointed. I'm still trying to figure out what this conflict was. What was this conflict for Virgos? What is this conflict? What is this conflict that they're experiencing for Virgos? What is this conflict that they're experiencing for Virgo spirit? What is this conflict that they're experiencing? Yeah, somebody going ghost on a situation. Somebody went ghost on a situation. But now they're trying to work on things with you. But some of you are not going to be interested because it was a missed opportunity. But this person wants to rush in. They want to talk. They want to change the dynamics of the situation. They want to work on things. They saw you as somebody that you or you both had mutual love for each other. They want to work on it. They want to come rushing in. And some of you are not really interested or you don't see it coming. What is this Knight of Swords for Virgos? What is this Knight of Swords for Virgos? Sorry, I'm just a little curious myself. What is this Knight of Swords for Virgos? The Empress in Reverse. Yeah, somebody's trying to revive this connection. Okay, because some of you have like decided like this person has broken you down as far as making you feel good about yourself. You know, they depleted your confidence. And a lot of you closed the door on this person with this Two of Swords. You made your decision. You finalized it. You said, nope, I am blocking. I'm protecting my heart. This person's not helpful to me. They're not making me grow you know they saw growth and stability with you but they managed to break you in the past emotionally or whatever they managed to break you but they saw you as this empress the queen of all queens and you are still the queen of all queens right now i feel a lot of you are still in this empress energy you're no longer in the reverse you're in the down you're in the upright you know your self-worth now so when this person comes to you you're just gonna be like i don't think so buddy or i don't think so sis I don't know if I want this again. This is not going to work. You're open to hearing their conversation, but a lot of you are going to just say, I'm going to choose a different choice because there's a choice here. You could have been dealing with a Gemini. So think of all the Geminis you were dealing with or recently disconnected with, or it could have been an earth sign that you were dealing with as well. Not an earth sign. Um, earth sign, it could be earth sign too because there's a lot of earth placement other than Virgo. Could have been another earth sign or it could have been another air sign that some of you were dealing with. Okay, so let's see about, let me fix that afterward. Um, let's see the time period for new love. Okay, time period for new love for Virgos. New love, it's exciting. It comes every time, every person's time is going to be different, okay, guys? So don't take this as too serious. But if it does happen in that time period, let me know. Virgos, new love. When is this new love coming for Virgos? When is this new love coming for Virgos? For people who are single, 
When is this new love coming for Virgos? Those who are single. When is this new love coming for Virgos? Those who are single. When is this new love coming for Virgos? When those who are single, my single Virgo collective. When will this be coming? Okay, I'm going to take two cards. Oh, it's three cards. Sorry. Okay, so it says on a sunny day. Okay, there's a lot of sunny days. So it could be any day at midnight within six months. So I feel like this is the time span. It's going to happen within six months. Before the end of the year, you should be meeting somebody for most of you guys. And it could be while you're on vacation. Okay, when you're getting your little pina colada drinks or margaritas with your girlfriends, you might meet somebody at the nighttime. They're going to approach you. And this is a newer love. I'm not talking about this old person. Some of you just don't want this older person, this old person. A newer love energy, you might meet them on vacation. Let me just, I feel like I need to do, sorry guys for making this video super long. I just feel like I need to pull a card for this vacation because I feel strongly those people who are going on vacation, they're going to meet somebody that they're going to have strong passion with. It's going to start off very passionate, but we're going to see how it develops, okay? So tell me more about this vacation for love for Virgos vacation what's going to happen while they're on vacation okay they're, you're going to be in a limelight with a star energy you're going to get somebody's attention with a star tell me more about this vacation with new love for virgos tell me more about this vacation with new love for virgos it's going to be a celebration you guys going to be hanging out with your friends having a good time and then there's something that's going to lead you're going to meet somebody i feel okay we have a star Okay, so you're going to be in the limelight. You're going to be healing. You're healed. You're doing your thing with a star card. You're going to be celebrating, hanging out, having a good time on your vacation. And then you're going to meet somebody who's going to make you feel like you can have a higher level of commitment with them. What is this Ten of Cups for Virgos, for new love? Something toxic. I tell you, it's going to be strong passion. There's somebody who feels this toxic attachment to you. Yeah, you close the door on this person, but they still see you in this high regard. They, you have an emperor and empress. So this is a, your counterpart, um, but things probably just didn't work out. It could have been a karmic twin flame. Um, this person has this toxic attachment to you. They see you as like they want this with you. They want this, and there's no other way. They want this, and that's what they want. They don't have enough... Um, they don't have enough, what you call it, some of them don't have enough security or, um, I, I can't find the word. <laughs> they don't have enough guts to come to you at this time, but they're going to come. Okay, there's going to be somebody from your past, and I feel like there's a newer love energy, passionate energy though, that you're going to meet while you're on vacation or when you take some time off. Okay, so let me know down below, Virgos, if anything resonates in this video, or if you just like me, please comment like the video. I appreciate you guys so much. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Okay.